if you have watched my previous video where i taught you how to use telegram app to host your online courses including the four new mind blowing features for course creators on telegram app then it is time to learn how to sell your courses on automation if you are an african course creator you will know that one of the biggest problems you have is receiving payment for your online courses from people all over the world as a course creator facing this kind of problem this limits the number of people you can reach with your courses it also limits the amount of money you can make from your online courses in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to sell those online courses you have created on telegram on automation and receive payments from people all over the world in over five different currencies if this sounds like what you want then stay tuned now the platform we will be using is called seller all you need to do is open up your browser on your mobile phone or on your desktop and go to seller.co and then because we are just starting out you don't have an account if you are not familiar with seller you click on start selling with seller however if you have an account all you need to do is just to log in so now we can see what seller is all about easy to set up three minutes selling eight currencies including usd gbp ngn Ghana cedis kenyan shilling and most importantly 10x your sales with awesome features and integrations just like the thumbnail of this video says all right so we're going to choose a username let's use jane doe and then the email address use jane doe at gmail.com you're going to have to use your real email and everything because you'll be getting emails from seller so let's use jane doe so we'll create an account right now on your dashboard you will see that you can set up bank details and add products you will not be able to add any products if you've not set up your bank details so let's set up bank details first and then you choose your country of residence these are the available countries you can use seller from let's choose the bank and the account number now that we've done that let's check the dashboard again so you can see on the left hand side the list of all these things here we are going to take them one after the other let's go to the settings because you want to make sure that your settings are correct and in place before you start selling anything to avoid any issues down the line so let's go to settings right let's go to general store settings first under general store settings this is your you, you have your store name what name do you want to call your seller store um this is your picture so it could be your personal picture or the picture of your business or the picture of that online course that you are selling right and then you have your email address you have your store description which is what your store is about if you have like an academy where you teach you you want to use the logo of your academy and then your store description will be what academy is about the kind of courses you have in your academy because with your seller store you can sell as many products as possible it's not limited to just one product and then your instagram name whatever you want to show on your store your twitter name facebook url your phone number which is not going to be public is just for seller to contact you all right so once you have done that settings you have miscellaneous store settings which are actually really important um do you want to collect the customer's mobile number on your store checkout form if you want that that's fine collect the customer's address city collect customer's postcode show checkout form immediately a user clicks buy button this is typically helpful to reduce the amount of the clicks the user makes before paying now do you want a call to action button or you just want to leave it as the general buy now so it depends on you and then your transaction charge who will pay for the seller transaction charge because obviously in as much as you are not using seller to host the online course they're just using them to collect payments they will definitely charge you for using that platform so who do you want to pay is it you or the customer you can just choose it whichever one then enable products cross sell on store products page in the sense that if someone buys a particular course from you you can then um with the cross sell it will show that people who are buying this course are also buying this other course so that's actually really helpful um do you want to add the tax to customers payment on your store um show store category sidebar all of these things are things that you can always come back to later and just modify them as you wish so we are done with general settings let's go to 
email preferences under email preferences is asking you the various options that you want to enable do you want to send email to recipients or uh, email, email receipts to customers for their purchase do you want to receive email notification for each use so you can just run through all these things and get them done so it is very important for you to get your settings right even before you add any products to avoid issues down the line now store currency settings which is actually the main part of today's video now custom editable currency settings involves the settings you want to show whenever you are selling something so obviously because i live in nigeria and i registered as someone living in nigeria right by default whatever i'm selling will be in in naira my currency which is ngn it will be in the naira amount and seller automatically converts to other currencies on your store but if you like to set the amount for other currencies on your ad products page simply check the currencies you like to enable so i would advise that you check every single thing here because you want as many currencies as possible to be available because we are trying to reach a large number of audience especially people all over the world and you want them to be able to pay for what you are selling so just check everything and now store currency settings obviously check everything this is what is going to be on your store when you are selling anything to anyone and then store delivery settings this is for people who are selling physical products you don't need that store design is for those who are on the paid plan of seller so let me just quickly mention that seller has different um payment plans there's a free one which is what we are currently using here because the essence of this video is to help those who cannot afford to use any course hosting platform to host their courses and then use seller as a payment receiver to receive money in over five different currencies there are other platforms like flutterwave paystack but they don't offer versatility in terms of receiving currencies which is why we are focusing on seller now seller also help people host their online courses however you have to pay so we are not looking into that all right which is why this store design is not going to be for those who are using seller for free now store support channel is very very important this is where you fix in your details and how people can reach you in case they have any issues in case they have any inquiry they can you know reach you through any of these numbers so it is important to get all these settings done and get them done right so let's check payout settings on that payout settings it will be um Naira payout to be settled directly to your bank automatically do you want it to be automatic or do you want it to be manual if you choose manual you will have to withdraw it by yourself anytime so it is better for you to just choose automatic and then this is your bank account that you have here that is that they will pay your money to including the foreign currencies which will be converted to your local currency and sent to your local bank account so the next thing we'll go to is customers which is also another important feature that seller has with customers every single person who purchases anything from you you can get that data in csv and this is actually helpful in case you do email marketing you send out newsletters to update your customers of new courses or new products or upsells or discounts or whatever the case may be this is really really important so now that we've gone through all of these settings here which you can check the others for yourself later we're just going to focus on how to use seller to sell your online courses on automation it's time for us to add products which is the important thing here add products you click on products add products what kind of products are you selling we're actually selling a digital product right so we we'll click on digital product now this is where you put the image of the product and then i'm just going to choose any random picture in my laptop so let's see let me just name this um how to use telegram course how to use telegram course right so what's going to be the price now so say for instance i put it at ten thousand naira. by default you set the price of your local currency obviously and now do you want to show like a striped out price so if for instance you are doing maybe like a promo and the initial price was like fifteen thousand naira, anyone who clicks on um the link to buy your course will see the old price now this is the description for your course so this is a course on how to use telegram right so that would be what will you explain to your clients your customers what kind of products is it what category does it for let's just choose business 
what is the subcategory for this business content creation right now this is mostly for physical products if you have physical products so we don't need this now what type of product is a digital product is it a pre-order no um store category if a certain category is not required to create a product right so you can just choose the category or just leave that you don't really need it upsells and cross sales you actually have to be on the pro plan cross sales are things that are bought together with this course so if you are selling how to use telegram course and probably you have another course related to that course you can then use the cross sell option but let's go to advanced option which is what we need to set the course appropriately so your call to action button do you want to leave it at buy now as seller has already done automatically or you want to change it and then if you are changing that this is also asking you if you require delivery or shipping address on checkout because this is not a physical product so that would not be necessary so let's go down what kind of product do you want to put in now because we are trying to sell the ticket or the access to an online course what i would advise you to do is just to put a downloadable pdf that just gives maybe like a one page pdf that just gives a rundown of the course and how they will access it so it could include things like after you've purchased make sure you click on the link here that will redirect you to telegram or if you are not automatically redirected because there are times that people will try to be redirected maybe for network reasons or whatever reasons they might not be and they've already paid and then they start panicking but if they download this pdf and the instruction is just clear one page instruction they can see that if they're not automatically redirected they can click on a clickable link in that pdf which will not take them automatically to your telegram group then when they come there because i have already taught you how to set your telegram group appropriately they would not then request admin approval as i've already set it so if you've not watched my previous video on how to use telegram to host an online course you need to do that right away and which is why it is good to also put your store support channels in case you are not sure of a particular person they can always contact you and tell you i paid i was not able to enter your telegram group this is what happened and then you can ask for evidence and then give them access so i'm just going to choose any pdf here just any file to help us create a link so that you guys can understand so automatically redirect buyers to an external link after a purchase you definitely want this like it is compulsory because you are not using seller to host the online course you are using telegram so you will go and get a link to your telegram group so i've gotten the link and i'm just going to add it here and then create products once you click on that button your product will be automatically created and then you will have the link to your product let's copy this link address and then see what the product looks like so this is what it's telling you this is the picture i use this is supposed to be the description which i did not put and then more details and all that so if someone were to buy this course now you would then see the amounts here so guys this is basically everything on how you can use seller to receive payments in multiple currencies now if you want to do any other further settings you can also do that with this course you can always edit the course details as you please you can deactivate the product if you want to stop selling it or you can delete it you can also view the sales you've had and you can view abandoned transactions so that you can follow those people up with your newsletter you can also customize url if you want to customize the url for this product you are free to do that just tap on this pen here and edit let's say telegram course and you are done that would be the customized url customizing a url is actually very important especially when you um have various courses on your store so this is showing nera i'm trying to figure out why it's not showing in other currencies as they should and i'll just go back to the settings so behind the camera i actually had to go back to my store currencies and tick all the boxes under currencies i didn't do that previously which is why you didn't see other currencies however now i have done it and this is why you can see the the amount in various currencies so anybody from anywhere in the world who actually wants to buy these products can see the different currencies here which is 
amazing if you ask me so guys this is everything receiving payment using seller make sure to always update so that the currencies you can see them in the public link so if you have any questions just hit me in the comments and i'll respond to your questions and answer you if there are any questions i cannot answer the seller has a customer care that is always very willing to help so this is what it looks like here so guys this is all this is how you create your seller account and use seller to receive money from people all over the world and 10x your sales Thank you so much for watching this video to the end and i hope you learned a lot if you did if you enjoyed this video or if you liked any aspect of this video let me know in the comments and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell please turn on the notification bell subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video